this is the setup for the project has been made using freezing software this is our LCD this is the potentiometer for controlling the contrast of the LCD this is the ultrasonic sensor and this is our Arduino board this is the buzzer then for those who will be following the connections you connect the lines as they are being uh, connected in the diagram here uh, there may be the major problem here they have not indicated the different pins for the LCD but you can easily know that from here this is D4 D5 D6 D7 this is the anode and then the cathode for the internal LCD of the LCD display then here we are going to have the the V the, this is going to be ground this is going to be a VCC this is going to be the potentiometer this is going to be yeah so the pins are connected according to this yes for this sketch and you connect we can now have a look at the actual setup this is the actual setup that we are going to be using in the simple project for our ultrasonic sensor so here we are having the ultrasonic sensor this is our LCD screen 16 by 2 LCD this is our simple buzzer and act as our alarm and this is a potentiometer which is used to co control the contrast of the LCD this is the Arduino Uno board and the connections are made according to the previous diagram that was shown using the freezing software so this is how you set up your simple diagram or a simple circuit for the project now let's have a look at the code which is very simple we have to include the liquid crystal library because we're going to be using the lcd display and the lcd display pins are connected according to this here we are having the rs and an pins connected to six and seven then this is d4 d5 six and seven then you have the trigger and echo pins from the ultrasonic sensor connected to P9 and 8 with the Arduino board. Then the buzzer is connected to pin 10. This is controlling the sound of the buzzer. This is the initialization. Then I'm dividing the code into three. You have this part which controls the atomic sensor. Then the other part which controls the buzzer. And the other part which controls the display. Uh, this one is, uh, I won't talk much about this because this is constant, but here you control the buzzer depending on the distance that you want your object to be detected. For example, mine, if the distance is above 5, then the buzzer is off. I will use the Norton function for the buzzer. So if the object is below 5, then the buzzer has to be on which is given by the tone function then the LCD display this is how you control what is going to be seen on the LCD as the object is moving away or towards the, the ultrasonic sensor if the distance is greater than or equal to 20 you have to have nothing in range so if it is less than 20 you are going to have the object detected and then you are going to show the distance in centimeters if the distance comes below 5, from 5 and below, then we are going to have the distance object is too close and the distance is also being shown. Then of course we have a time delay. So now you can see what is going to happen when this code is uploaded to the Arduino board. We can now begin testing to see the results after uploading the code. So we have placed a simple ruler to see what happens when the object which is five centimeters here it is showing you know nothing in range now I begin moving an object towards the sensor 
and we see what happens so it means now the object has entered the 20 centimeter range so it is being detected by the sensor there object detected there off so it keeps on moving 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 Now, when it reaches 5 centimeters, the alarm goes on and then it shows you that the object is too close. So when you move behind, the alarm goes off. Like that, moving away from the detector. When I move closer, closer. So, that is what our simple project was all about and it is very applicable in security systems like for cars to detect people coming closer to the car or you can even use it to prevent people from coming in an area where you don't want people you can use it as an alarm system thanks for watching